Hello everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of stamping and stenciling to create this really colorful card that I made with Tim Holtz's new Love Note stamp set and also Simon Says Stamps Love Note dies that cut out the stamps. This adorable heart set is great for all year round creating. There's a lot of great different styled hearts that you can use for a variety of different kinds of cards and the greetings are great for using on any type of love card. Simon Says Stamp has coordinating dies that cut out all of the hearts in this stamp set and I'm going to be using both of these products today to make my card. I picked out two hearts that I really loved from the stamp set and I thought these would be a great heart to use to stamp multiple times in different colors of ink to create a repeating pattern. So I've picked out Grapefruit, Carnation, Sprout, and also Tropic and Violet from Simon Says Stamp's Positively Saturated Ink Collection. I'm stamping these onto white cardstock and then I'm using the coordinating dies to cut them out. I really liked the sketchy feel of these hearts and I thought that they had a lot of movement. So I'm actually going to try to enhance that on my card by creating some movement with some stenciling. I've picked out this brush strokes stencil from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to use parts of the brush strokes to create some color sections behind each of the hearts that are going to be placed in the different areas of my card panel. I'm using the same colors of inks that I use to do all of my stamping and as I'm stenciling I'm going to stack these brush strokes at an angle down the card. This is going to give me a lot of movement behind these hearts and that's going to make them look like they're zooming across the panel, which I think looks really cool and adds a lot of interest to the card. So I'm going to lay out the hearts onto my card panel so I can get an idea of where their placement is going to be before I start stenciling the next section of brush strokes. So now I'm gonna bring in my green and I'm going to start ink blending this along the middle portion of the card. As you can see, I left some space between the orange and the green stenciling so that way I can get some separation and it gives my images some breathing room which will really help with the illusion of this movement that we're trying to create. So now I run in some Tropic and I'm bringing this from the left side of the card and I'm alternating which side of the card each of these brush strokes are coming in from. That also helps with that movement. So the hearts look like they're coming in from two different sides. So I have all of my stenciling done and I'm going to start carefully laying my larger hearts onto my card panel with some foam squares. These are 3D foam squares from Simon's Stamp and I'm not pressing these down onto the card yet because if I need to shift where their placement is, I don't want to have them fully pressed down just yet. Once I had the larger hearts in place and I was happy with that, then I started gluing the smaller hearts down and for this I used thin 3D foam squares. Some of the hearts I put behind the larger hearts and then others I added on top. And so while this is a repetitive style of card, we do have some interest by having those hearts placed at different intervals. All right, so now we're gonna add a sentiment. I'm stamping with Simon's Stamp Embossing Ink, one of the greetings from the Love Notes stamp set, onto some Rainbow Splash black cardstock. I did prep the surface with my Simon's Stamp powder tool, and then I'm gonna bring in some white embossing powder to sprinkle over top. I wanted something contrasting amongst all this color, so I thought a black and white green would work perfectly. I heat set that with my embossing tool, and so now I can go ahead and fussy cut the sentiment out with my fine tip scissors. You don't have to fussy cut it, you could just cut it out into a little rectangle if you'd like. I did decide to pop this up onto my card panel, and because I want it to be a little bit more dimensional than the hearts, I actually put two foam squares behind it, just so that way it gave it a little bit of lift above the other hearts. Picking out some of these beautiful pattern papers from the Craft Consortium. This is from their Candy Ink Drop collection. I loved this paper that featured quite a few of the colors that I'm using in my stamping. So I used that as the backdrop for my A2 card. I'm gluing this down with a Simon Says Stamp glue stick and that will give me a little bit of wiggle time so I can get the paper perfectly placed before fully committing to the placement. I did pop up my card panel onto my card using some thin 3D foam squares so that way it's just a little bit more dimensional off of that card base. This card looks awesome but I decided I wanted to add just a little bit of shine here and there so I thought I would use some iridescent hearts that I glued here and there across this card. Some I layered on top of the hearts and then others I have on the background and they're very subtle but that adds just enough of a sparkle when the card catches the light that really adds an extra wow factor. 
I love how this turned out. It's so much fun to have the stenciling coming in from different sides and it allows the hearts to look like they're kind of coming into the card from different directions. A lot of movement, which I think is a really cool way to be able to utilize a stamped image. It goes to show you that even one simple stamp like this heart was able to create a really cool card. If you're interested in the Love Notes stamp set, which is brand new from Tim Holtz and also the Love Notes dies, also brand new from Simon's Stamp, you can find links below in the video description as well as on my blog. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. I will be back very soon with more to share with you all, but until next time, have a wonderful day.